The social contract is broken. In scenes reminiscent of our dangerous history, we are seeing revolutionaries of left and right in pitched battle on European streets. While I abhor their methods, I understand the sense of injustice that lies at the root of this conflict. Since the financial crisis, inequality has sharpened, with those who caused the crisis continuing to accumulate wealth and power, while the pain is borne by the weak and the poor. I have always believed that inequality is corrosive and that societies and people flourish when there is justice and fairness. But even if you believe that inequality is the, in, is the engine of innovation and growth, you must realise that you need social stability and public consent for your businesses to make their profits. This Parliament has made great progress in the four investigatory committees on tax. I commend those members who sit on the right side of this House for embracing the task of implementing a fair tax system, but I would implore them to share that message with their national governments who are playing the beggar thy neighbour game at the behest of corporations and blocking any real progress towards a fair and equitable tax system in the Council. Corporations have used the process of globalisation to shirk their tax responsibilities. The expansion of economic systems beyond the reach of national governments has allowed the selfish and the greedy to find ways to hoard their wealth at the expense of others. Ensuring that the rich and powerful, whether companies or individuals, pay a fair share of their income and profits in tax is a necessary requirement of establishing a new social contract in the age of globalisation.